is in a very important uh, position in the state, has tremendous responsibility, has tremendous regulatory authority, has tremendous latitude in decision making. Some of that's good and some of that's bad. Uh, not bad, but dangerous, I guess, because uh, that power can be abused. So I think it's important to know where the secretary stands and to do it publicly. I mean, the tradition is that we never ask questions publicly in this nomination process, particularly any hard questions. Uh, and it's unfortunate that uh, Mr. Garvin uh, didn't reach out to all the members and try to take those questions, because he sure didn't reach out to me. I ask that uh, the secretary, now Garvin, uh, not be in attendance, that uh, he was in attendance for the committee meeting, and uh, the purpose of the vote today is not to ha conduct another uh, committee meeting on the Senate floor. On uh, January 25th, we had a duly noted committee meeting, and uh, he, as well as the other minority member, Senator Simpson, were in attendance, as were the four majority leader, uh, members, and that is the appropriate time, appropriate venue, to ask questions of the nominee before us. So it had ample opportunity to do that. Obviously, in addition to that, on a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can meet with a nominee and ask some questions about uh, what might be on your mind. So they had uh, ample opportunity to do that. Uh, they chose not to uh, for whatever reason. I mean, you'll have to ask them. I had heard some kind of rumor that the governor had asked them something. Uh, you know, the governor doesn't run my committee meeting. I don't run the executive branch, so I don't. they were talking to the wrong people.